Finally, the art of the snapshot. Believe it or not, many Americans are redeveloping a love of film. Gotti Schwartz explores where the new trend is catching on in a story shot entirely, you guessed it, on film. It loads in a jiffy and you're ready to shoot. Fading for years, this relic of a bygone era is forging an unlikely comeback. Driven largely by millennials and Gen Z on platforms like TikTok and Instagram, all of a sudden, old cameras are back with a rallying cry and a hashtag. Film is not dead. But there's only one true way to do this story justice. We are going to shoot the entire thing on film. Here at NBC News, it's been more than 44 years since we measured our footage in actual feet. This is NBC Nightly News. But now, in our hyper-connected world, many like Jason Cumberfield, who runs the YouTube channel Grainy Days, are longing for an analog past. It's probably one of the best moments you can have as a human being. We headed out to shoot a few rolls on the streets of L.A. You see the image right there before you, beautiful lighting, beautiful angle. The rest is just kind of up to Kodak Gold. When you hear that click, what does that click sound like to you? It sounds like old mechanical perfection. At Total Cameras in Long Beach, owner Eric Vitwar says film sales have recently tripled, with demand for vintage cameras skyrocketing during the pandemic. How fast are you selling these? You know, these things are not staying on the shelf. The price right now is at $2.99, but I would say three years ago, we were selling them at $1.60. For some, it's the element of surprise. I forget about the roll, and then I go get it developed, and then I'm like, oh, wait, that was fun. I totally forgot that even happened. For others, it's a chance to slow down. It is always magical. Uh, it never stops being exciting. At the School of Light, Andrew Hall teaches the art of the darkroom to students of all generations. I think what's drawing people back to film is they're finding that they really get a lot of satisfaction in taking that journey. Byron Lewis is just six years old, but can already describe it perfectly. Looks like magic. It looks like magic. And today, so many rediscovering that magic of stopping time with a little mechanical box. Gotti Schwartz, NBC News, Los Angeles. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.